Soul Glow Productions is in the building. Just let hey. Soul Glow. <laughs> let it show. Where was he on Soul the second glow. one? That is a I great was question. Not same question. And I ain't even really want to watch the movie like that. That's I crazy. I didn't. I like, haven't. They were missing you so many. Mm-mm. It's I, sad, you know. I thought it was going to be much worse because people was bashing it. They came I like swinging. It. I like that. I like the movie personally. Yeah, it was, it was um, good, you know. As far as the soul glow, dude, that did hurt my heart, though. Yeah, I was he, like, you where's, you my, where's my soul glow? I was looking for the, for exactly. the patches. Even a dark-skinned sister, too. Where was she? I don't know. You know. <laughs> It's, it's, I think it so was how about we, you know, introduce ourselves? I mean, okay. <laughs> we just got into, I mean, I mean, we was just vibing. Yeah, we was about to get into. Yeah. We was beatboxing. That, that was I mean? coming. Yeah. Yeah. What's good, y'all? I feel like I feel like we was, you know, scoring. A this good is how we start. We was, Episode we was, forty-two. We was two for two just right. now. We was going for three. You know what I'm saying? I feel you like feel we was me? Going away, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now, um, good. but yeah, man. So we in this thing right now. You know, episode forty-two of the podcast. Forty-two. Forty-two. That's a lot of podcasts. Man. And this is the first time Brandon's been a part of it since episode three. Yes. Damn. Yes. Two sounds better. Like I said, this is episode two officially now. Because right. I'm in. It's, it's episode okay, 42. Well, I like how you think <laughs> Officially. Y'all didn't cool themselves. I ain't mad at you. I'm here now. We, so we it's Sir Dash like. So me and Ross was in the blip. So we, we didn't exist because Thanos snapped us out of here. Were we in the blip? Two. Were we? No. <laughs> Were we not? Technically, we weren't in the blip if we was there for the rest of the episode. Inception. But they they don't exist, technically. They do exist. (laughs) They're still up there. People are still watching those videos. sound like the (laughs) Eminem. He does exist. exist. (laughs) (laughs) Stupid, man. I love that commercial. Damn. I never met the guy. (laughs) Bro, Uh, I look forward to the Christmas commercials like every year. Uh, Santa? (laughs) (laughs) But now, um... So we got Brandon back in here. This is the first episode, like yes. Ross was saying. Mm-hmm. But Brandon to gets back, to come man. in here and talk his. You yes, feel me? Man. Yep. So, um, man, bro, how do you feel about the reception you getting from everybody bro, unreal, watching man. the sitting? A lot of encouragement, man. Because honestly, keep it. What was it? Keep it the usher. Keep it. Uh, keep it one usher. Keep, keep it one, one usher. usher. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of scared. I'm like, I don't know if like the squad would accept <clears> me back, you know. But I've got man nothing but support, man. It's just unreal, and man, shout out to. Every one of y'all, man. The Clutch Squad is real. That's a love, man. Sure. Definitely, man. Man, you want homie want to tear up, man. I know, right? I, I did. I don't give a damn. I don't, I don't care, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> you cried a little bit, though. I honest. cried. Yeah, shit. But I was in the background damn near crying. I was like, oh. You know? Yeah. Oh, this is much needed. Shout you out know? to Steve, yeah. man. It felt like that was something that everybody mm-hmm. needs a piece of, like, mm-hmm. in general, for right. all their problems. When you got problems where you can easily talk them out, that's something I feel like you should be, you know, doing. So yeah, man, man, definitely. And it was authentic. It wasn't no fake shit, you know. It wasn't something mm-hmm. like they came up with this stage thing. <laughs> like my homeboy, yeah. he was like, "Man, let me check out this video." I was like, "Yeah, you should definitely watch it. It's something that y'all need to do, you know." Right, right. <laughs> he right, was right. like, "Oh, okay." And so he checked it out. He's like, "Oh, that was for real, like talking." I was like, yeah, "Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. real shit." Ross wanted yeah. to swing off on Brandy. No, <laughs> he did. he did. I didn't, bro. Oh, my bad. I didn't, dog. My bad. He I said he was sleeping. We gonna say we gonna say the way I the way I was looking at it looked like you wanted to piece him up. Nah, bro. Hey, bro. Nah, 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 Ross did, nah, nah, Ross had that look like say something wrong. Right. <laughs> bro, he was say on straight hitman thing. mode. Like he was ready. Say, say Blondie, I'm gonna knock you off. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Shout out to Blondie, Color man. <laughs> shout out to Blondie, yeah. man. She nah, shout out to Blondie. Holding, a, yeah. holding on the fort right That's now. Up. At home. Mm-hmm. That's good. But now, nah, man, um, uh, again, it was powerful. Uh, I enjoyed it because people got to see Brandon mm-hmm. pretty much give his side. You know what yeah. I'm saying? People was always like, oh, what happened? And I didn't want to talk for him. We were tired of like seeing what we thought. Mm-hmm. So it was like after we had a phone conversation, I told him, I said, hey, Ross, don't talk to Brandon about it. Brandon, don't talk to Ross about it. We're going to talk about everything here. And yeah. it's just so that way it can be as real as we want it to be or it can be and as respectful. You know, we can all talk to each other as humans, like humans. We can talk to each other like grown men. We can disagree. We still disagree. Mm-hmm. On some things, mm-hmm. but um, because I sure didn't <coughs> tell you what you thought I said, but oh, so I, there's I more to that. Okay, said. well, if you want to part two, no, okay. see, we can get back to the table. It's right over there. It's right there. <laughs> okay, but now nah, um, <laughs> is is the the fact that we moved past that man and yeah. we, you know, it's like we never missed a step. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm always keeping one usher. You feel me? <laughs> one usher. One usher. That's, usher. That's 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 the thing now. The 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 usher bucks, man. Oh, yeah, Bucky. <laughs> um, so apparently Usher, you know what I'm saying? He was, uh, at a strip club or mm-hmm. having a nice time around some young ladies. And, um, you know, he, you know, 
I heard he was already spending money there yeah, at he, the event, but then he just kind of used some of his own printed bills um, to promote. Yeah, it was uh, just more mostly promotion. promotion but and, um, yeah, apparently one of the dancers had, you know, she posted it up on her story. You know, what I'm saying, how would you guys feel if you was, you know, was dancing yada 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 and doing, you know, you got paid with this. But later on, she also clarified. She was like, like I never thing. say, I never said that. That was the only money he used, like he actually paid. But of course, when you put that out there, it gives the image of Usher not paying for anything and just using this she fake knew money. What she was doing, yeah, dude. of course. That's the thing. It was one of those clout she moves. Did. It was yeah. one of those quick. Let me let me post this up and see what happens. See the reaction. Yeah, there had to be something behind that. Cause I yeah, because like, Usher new... got money. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's... Or it's like, is this the new currency in Atlanta, man? This is how y'all doing that? That's what I was saying. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, but... Let me know because I hate strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because boy, do I be trying to get my money. Whenever we went, man, I would just slide the money into the couch. A lot of or step on them. Yeah. <laughs> I just told, let's, hey, we just told the dark. story yeah. like ain't no lights it's here. dark she don't know what yep. we're throwing exactly as long as you're throwing a dollar every five minutes yep. remember when we used to do that bro, bro I remember clearly bro that we used to go to the strip club yourself. everything all of us would get tens yeah. and that was Walmart ones. paychecks back in the day so that wasn't much yeah so. tens or twenties exactly. we'll probably get ten if we feeling good tonight we'll get twenty and ones yep. and we'll all sit in the area and we'll all throw one dollar the strippers <laughs> gonna hate us now we're going to get banned from her. Oh, no, there'll be, oh, nah, there'll be oh, plenty man. of dudes to, you know, cover their tab. Trust and believe. Boys yeah, be, yeah, facts. Yeah, boys be nah. throwing stacks just boys at the will, address. Just boys because. Boys will blow their yeah. paycheck on yeah. the stripper. I've seen it happen. Yeah. Top, I'll be in a strip club looking looking like, y'all y'all really doing that? Yeah. I mean, nah. I mean no, it's, it's a vibe. It's that's a, that's yeah. just how it is. That's your thing. Brandon and yeah. they're like, look, look, look what you could be doing with your money, man. You can invest <laughs> in Bitcoin. No, I wouldn't want to be that dude in the club. You're doing crypto, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. You could I, be yeah, I'm trying to survive. Yeah. <laughs> that's $2,000 you exactly. could have put Hell somewhere man. for your future. But nah, um, <laughs> it's, it's real though, man, because we seen somebody in there one time. It was an older cat, and it's, he just had one girl dancing on him pretty yep. much the whole damn time. Oh yeah, he yeah. personally he was just paid her off for the he, night. Oh, yeah, that was his check, and it was a Friday night. She too. was good. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she was. That was her regular Friday. Yeah, yeah. Bills were paid. yeah, yeah. bills were stacked. Kids was fed. Yeah. The end. Yeah. <laughs> what dog? Nothing. I was just listening. <laughs> <to it. laughs> Damn it, Dub. <laughs> Damn it, Dub. That's yeah, 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 that's one. Like, there we go. That's look one. At you now, bro. That's one, bro. Damn yeah, it, Dub. We, we tired of people capping. I mean, I just I think people yeah. do it for social media and we as we know it. But it's like the fact that when she came back backpedaling, she needs to be a meme now because now you know people exactly. get, you know it's a joke. Nobody care about the truth no more. Now yeah. now it's just funny mm-hmm. to it go is. with the oh, Usher, Usher pay with the Usher bucks. Yeah, you the know, Usher man? bucks. Even man. though we know he spent money. It's funnier to that go with, funny, you bro. know, the Usher Buck concept. So. Just imagine Usher Buck. Here you go, baby girl. You can slide the Usher Buck to You ain't got a car. <laughs> with the straight face. It's girl. okay, yeah. girl. Because I'm going to be your uh, tonight. <laughs> Just throw it in the face. You got to got hella aggressive. You got to do the uh. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He's making it rain on you. You with us. Hey. Just let it burn. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's it. Man. Yeah, dude. Wow. Okay. Them damn Usher bucks. You better take them damn Usher bucks. Hey, man. Damn, I'm better than nothing, man. <laughs> what we be, not what sure we trip, gonna pay for. Would we trip if it was Beyonce bucks? We would. Ah, uh, look at that. Mm, uh-huh. You know nice. the Beehive, yeah, they ain't gonna let but that. But then again, yeah. they crazy, so. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's better than real Beehive money? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's better than real exactly. money. You go try to spend that. So wait, a minute, <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't two B bucks so on ten. A stripper found out that the money was Usher bucks. It was no, she knew it was. She knew, it was it, she she knew, knew what it was. What it was for? Yeah, oh. the establishment already came out and said, though he already spent money, like thousands yeah, of yeah, dollars. Yeah, already spent oh. some clout ish. But yeah, then she part. said I, it was. She, she tried to post it playing them. Yeah, know, she like, was basically, basically like, uh, nah, that's not the case. I never said that. That's the only money he spent. But she insinuated. Yeah. Oh, so yep. okay, okay. That's because people probably went out of the neck. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. It was like, hey, hey especially hey, the establishment. Hey, I'm here, like, hey, man. bro, what you doing? Like, it's like, Usher, man. He like, came in here and spent money up in here, and you gonna make the homie feel? No, my, my bad, bad, bad. I'm just joking. Back. Brianna, you, you want him to come back? Get out. You gotta go. You gotta go. Yep. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> you gone, Brianna. Mm-hmm. Hey, Brianna Trump. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna scroll past that. But uh, <laughs> but now, nah, um, Brandon got the rest. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I only I only caught that because. Apparently, L- Lamelo is talking to Tiana Trump. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, How do y'all feel about that? Like, uh, a man talking to somebody. Do you, boo boo? You were young. 
man, but at the same time, whatever man, floats. Yeah, but hey, the pilot, hey, <laughs> I know the that. Put them up on game, though. It's like, hey, look, y'all some ballers. You know, hey, y'all stay away from the women. But all the females but, you could talk to right now. That's true. Because we all know what Tiana Trump, you know, what she's known for. I really didn't. Until you, oh, I'm, you know, yeah. some years back, oh, yeah, I right. think somebody was talking about she he was made it on. Sound him. like he was about to say like he didn't until like yesterday or something. But he oh. was like, <laughs> no. he knew years yeah, back, we, yeah, <laughs> I really did. I had to switch it up until some years until back. Some years back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know oh okay. I think it was her though that they was some. She was on a road trip and she was like having sex with every dude. I'm pretty uh, sure at a stop she, or something. Yeah. It was something crazy. About right. It was something so right. crazy. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. And you know that's why. When I learned her name, she's that a lady. Surprise me. Yes, she's a runner. <laughs> I was about to say she's a she's runner. runner. She's a like, track star. Man, <laughs> <she go. Yep. laughs> oh, yeah. But you got to think about it. She's a train Isn't track like star. Isn't like Lamelo only eighteen? So that boy doing his thing. Yeah, he's young. Yeah, he's young. But I, that's a, that's the thing though. Of all the people though, like you got everybody at your fingertips. You you can talk to the people that niggas want to talk to. Yeah, I mean, he's old. He's still eighteen. Yeah. You know who I think he should go for? Who? Chloe. Hmm. Hell. Kardashian. No, no, no you talking about the single. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. See that? See that? Okay. All the old niggas. Damn. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, see again. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Yo, he, yeah. you don't know how many people be reposting, like, yes. on my timeline. Yeah, exactly. Reposting her, her, her story. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I'll be no, like, I know. damn. So that's at a certain age, you just got to stop. Like, I mean, she's very beautiful. Both oh, of them. Yeah. They're that's very beautiful, gorgeous. but it's just like. Yeah. Calm Damn. down. Okay, old guys. Calm down. I was there when she was beautiful. No, I'm not talking, about, you. I'm talking about the people that's reposted it. Calm down. <laughs> I, I mean, seen I, it, I seen it, it um, mm. when she did the silhouette challenge. She's a baddie. No, she's yeah, no, yeah, oh, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. But people kind of like overly, <laughs> you know. That's what they do with everybody, though. With like yeah. Megan Good when she was first popping. And, mm-hmm. you know, everybody that, was, mm. that, that pops up hot, yeah. hot. But I think it's different because now we're actually at an older age than, yeah. you know, the the new young you trying to make us sound old okay older as okay. in older than her <laughs> older yeah, yeah. you yeah. know yes yep. i know this <laughs> there you go see go on this is that's around your time god damn it dog. <laughs> you young folks don't know nothing about that i don't know nothing about that <laughs> 1990 yes yes chloe is uh 22 <clears throat> oh my god uh, so. yeah. oh okay she could <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 look at that. Bro, I was like, bet. I ain't say bet. I just said, oh, okay. She been drinking legally for oh, a year. Okay. <laughs> for a year. Wow. Damn, that's Sorry. crazy. <laughs> she was drinking legally for, for a year. year? <laughs> that's crazy, bro. A whole year of legal drink. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing but what? <laughs> you doing the math? Good. <laughs> okay. And she got money? What? Yeah, she better ah, not go to damn. Damn. <laughs> She better not go to the address. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> what would you do? I mean, I'm be chilling, bro. Yeah, I'm me. I'm gonna be chilling. Ex- on your no. moves tonight. Mm-mm. I don't have That's to. That's gonna be the night you had a slingshot. No, I don't have to put no extra. Yeah, mm. That's the night of the slingshot. That's the night of the slingshot. I'm gonna, 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 gonna be in the valley. And Chloe gonna pull up. It's your time. It's your time to shine, Ross. Ron gonna have a suit and tie on. He ain't gonna acknowledge her. That's how he gonna try to be He's gonna walk past. He's gonna go all of the. He gonna go all of the main people. He gonna go to the uh, the DJ. He gonna talk to security because he knows security. Yeah. He gonna talk to the DJ. Yeah. He gonna talk to yeah. all of the main people. Yeah. Well, he gonna look like that nigga. No, I'm not. I literally just be like, yo, okay. what's good? Oh, what's good? good? By default. What's good? You still on for uh, next week? The people that you know, <laughs> nothing planned. The officers that work there and stuff like that just. They see me there mm-hmm. for a minute, so they know my face. Oh, tell her on, I said, what up? Tell her I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> tell them to bring the bottles. He me. <laughs> Damn. Bring her two bottles over there. <laughs> That's another flexor for you, boy. Ah, nah, man. Um, but nah, uh, again, it's, it's, it's just all goes back to that social media thing as well. Um, and, you know, trying to make things or insinuate things that you know is going to get clicks. You know it's going to mm-hmm. be something that's going to run. In the shade room and be quick to uh, pick it up. So, how do y'all feel about just with this whole social media thing, people incriminating themselves, like these rappers now that that, that okay, yeah. kind of give mm. police officers a day off because they tell on themselves. This all goes back to the Boondocks mm-hmm. episode. In other words, bro, rappers been incriminating themselves from the start. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right now, this is at like at an all time high. Like, come on now, bro. They have they being more detailed. They <laughs> have a whole set. Like, I've been watching this uh, YouTube channel called Trap Geek. We, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that name. Um, go ahead, plug it. They um, 
he basically like does all the research on all these people, like all the drill rappers in like Chicago, DMV, like every area area that has like a bunch of like gangster trap rap, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so like he'll find out about like the top (coughs) rappers in that area and then he'll find out how connected they are with actually the street life. And so he did one on like Pooh Shiesty and uh, like all a crew. He was basically talking about how connected they were with with all the viol- like all the violence going on in the city and why a lot of the violence had started because of something that was happening between his crew yeah. and something else and then the other crew and then he was then he mm. it brought him all the way up to like the back and blood song that got that got him kind of hot to the public yeah. I guess mm-hmm. you know he been rapping for a minute um right that back and blood track basically him explaining how he stole guns from a rival gang or whatever. And he just rapped about it in the song, like, "Yeah, wow. I did this. Come Hip-hop get it back in blood." It's real, like, wow. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As soon as you sign that contract, they're gonna be right there. Yeah, we are, we watching you. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. Come on, yeah. bro. You got people exposing you already, like, bro. That's crazy. To be the rival gang and to hear millions of people, yeah, jamming that song and not mm-hmm. even knowing the core reason mm-hmm. yep. that got to bring you bro up. i was looking at uh one video on what that dude named Fuji- fujiano mm-hmm. and so somebody in his crew <laughs> was literally on stage with him while he was rapping and he pulls out a gun and sprays into the crowd bro what yes in the middle of the concert sprays into the crowd like killed a bunch of people it was like eight people that got hit or something like that damn i was like the this fuck? is crazy as hell oh, my language, but oh y'all damn. real real okay damn <laughs> that's too real. Real. That's too, yeah now right. you told me not to go to that concert basically that's that's yeah exactly. and i was like okay if you got rival rival gang yeah, he killing his there, fan base good. man like i ain't even that trying to be shit. in there he probably really? i know he hit some random bystanders damn, there. yeah that's but and, and all for what you know what i'm saying like literally no sense man we really we really arguing when is is so much opportunity out here for everybody mm-hmm. you know we all think we we think it's just a little bit of money bro this <coughs> money it's pools of money just sitting out there for us to get it mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying if we stop fighting one another man we can figure out a way to come together use your street smart to to flip it into a business mind mm-hmm. and and flip hell flip gang bang on some business Facts. Facts. exactly you know what i'm saying yep. you you own mcdonald i own burger king exactly. franchise it's, it's the gang bang on each other, man. This all goes back Whopper to versus the Big Mac. <laughs> For real, this all goes back to the sit down. Mm-hmm. All Facts. this stuff can get squashed with exactly. a sit down. That's Facts, true. Facts, bro. It's that That's simple. what this episode be. The sit down, man. I swear. The sit down. The sit down, man. I think a lot of people definitely need to have a sit down. Uh, just with how things you know playing out, especially in hip hop, bro. It's it's crazy how people literally. You know, be beefing online and then be surprised when the feds pull up. Like uh, the situation with Kodak and Southside, mm-hmm. that whole situation. He's basically like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We can bump whenever I see you, yada, yada, yada. And then later on that same day, he said that on live, Southside, uh, Kodak and his crew get shot up at a McDonald's. And then the feds are investigating Southside because they like, well, you did say, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whenever y'all meet, y'all can handle it. And then all of a sudden that same day, someone shoot at his crew, mm-hmm. shoot at his security team and him. What's going on there? So it's like you self-incriminating yourself when really if it's if this is like a serious issue, you can handle that off the internet. You can have a sit-down conversation or talk to him like, yo, what's good? Boom, 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 and then kind of squash it. You feel me? But when you start doing going that route, portraying the image and, you know, trying to keep up that tough tough guy persona you can't be wondering why the feds knocking at your door and hitting you with the government name as soon as they knock at the door uh mr mr wallace bartholomew (laughs) you know that you know williams can can you can you step outside real quick we got to talk to you about this instagram post you posted at this time on this day at this crib on this wi-fi like and don't y'all be shocked when y'all be seeing some of the rappers names it'd be like Mm-hmm. Somebody yeah. like his name, little <clears throat> little pew pew or something, and little then his <laughs> actual name is like no. your real name, Ethan, like, like, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, yeah. Ethan Hunter, Ethan like, Hunter, yeah. like that. <laughs> grew up in the su- suburbs. Wow. These guys are gangsters. Real, real name's Clarence. <laughs> Clarence right, parents have a real like good parents. <laughs> Clarence parents have a real good <laughs> marriage. <laughs> Ain't no yeah. such thing as halfway crooks. <laughs> Hey, Fuck Grand Brook. Right. <laughs> what is this you speaking of? Cause you know, that, that's but the fact that there's actuality and like what Brandon was saying, 
the hip hop police is real. When, mm-hmm. when, uh, Watch out, little pew pew. Bro. Yep. Hey, uh, we come for you. So Ethan. much drama in the industry. Hip-hop exactly. Hey, Chameleon was on something, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, bro. Nah, he, he was telling the truth. Yep. He was telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's crazy. Like, they just don't learn. They keep doing it. That's, like, it's, just, it's like, it's come on, bro. You you yeah. out here. It's like, uh, I think there was a situation where Meek Mill was upset with academics and he was basically saying, oh, you was ratting on him, ratting on like some of his uh, crew members or whatever. Because, you know, Meek is on parole or whatnot. So he can't be around no weapons or anything like that. And uh, academics are like, bro, I didn't do nothing. And we back with some uh, technical difficulties, but um, we got it all sorted out for you guys. So we're back to continue this episode. I'm not oh, rich, so let's not get into that. He's also famous. No, you don't. We don't have time for you. He's for yourself. <laughs> just know we had some technical difficulties. Right. It's all He's good, rich bro. and famous. Everybody's on code, but you know the computer just shut off on me. The, the MacBook shut off. Sneezed. His computer. The MacBook. Sneezed. I've never heard of that. It's it called Corona. His computer sneezed like hand pack. Damn. Straight Rona on the computer. Basically, no we can't take quiet. no more of your sneezing. Right. <laughs> where, I left, where I left off is uh, Meek Mill was upset because he's basically like uh, academics was pretty much snitching on him. And he was like, no, bro, you was with people who had weapons and you know you can't be around that type of That's environment right. while you were on probation. So all it takes is someone to just check your account. Oh, so Meek's not listening. Okay. Bet. We'll Damn. just take note of that because they don't wait. They'll they don't just get you right off. They just build a case. Oh yeah, facts. Uh, I worry about academics sometimes, bro, because like he got a lot of enemies. I don't worry about it. Well, you know, there's because obvious I reasons. Don't, you know, I don't right. feel like he's for the culture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's it what is what it is. is. He said, yeah. I don't. Worry. But <laughs> at all, like, that's the killer part. Like he ain't no hood, motherfucker. But yet you got a whole bunch of goons on the seat. See, see that's talk too much. That's true. Exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he be like, that's true. That's my problem. I'm like, you talk out of place. You know, it's it's one thing to talk and just talk yeah. about the stuff that's going on. There's a lot of people that talk rap, mm-hmm. rap culture, and yeah. just stuff that's going on without sounding like they're just against that person or sound like they're hating on that person. Person, they yeah. they can easily just talk about the situation. He gets on there talking like he just hot shit, and you know, he com- he comes off as like a, a dickhead. You know, I haven't watched his videos in years. I haven't either because I unsubscribed because I was like, damn, now he don't. It, it seems yeah. like he's almost like provoking shit, you know? Because uh, there was some videos where he was like being more so provocative than it, than like actually informative. Uh, and once I started feeling like that, I'm like, damn, like, why are you doing Like, why are you doing this with, you know, it's, it's black people with black people. Why are you, not to make it a race thing, but it's like, why are you putting these people up against each other with this forced media shit? Gotcha. Yeah. Nah, that's, that's, it's horrible, man. And it's like, um, just like how you get at Meek though, like yeah, he be talking shit, and I'm like, bro, Meek, you don't do nothing. You, you, you. I'm what? Like, oh, oh, bro, like, <laughs> if I'm like down, dude, exactly, yeah, take it easy. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be like, bro, you know, stop. <laughs> just like Charlemagne would be. Yeah, Charlemagne, like I'm not in the street. I'm the radio guy. And he'll explain exactly. the radio yep. guy. Mm-hmm. Talk shit as a radio guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he don't be trying to go back and forth with me. But academics, not so much. I don't even know if it's yeah, community. man. That's shit. I don't know if that's a living. Or, <laughs> <laughs> but then how he was big enough six nine, I think that made it a little worse. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like, like his cool best friend. Him. Yeah, and it's like that's that really made you a different target. Yeah, yeah, more of a target actually. So, but more on the story. Hey, rappers, y'all probably not gonna listen, but stop self incriminating yourself, man. Yes, stop. You, you you don't have to post everything they, they that you a, do. They're writing a track right now talking about how mm-hmm. they slid on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I ran up on that boy, shot him three times in the yeah. like God. Man, <laughs> this day, on this street, now be the popular part of the song. Everybody sing it. Yeah, yeah. Right on color. Yeah, November twelve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy, hey, that boy get out the booth. The fans are like. You know you hey, fucked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know you yeah. fucked up, right? Yeah. They just send them texts. Yeah, you was, know you was, fucked up, right? Yeah, I didn't Cop mean, emoji. Cop I emoji. Mean, you know. No, 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 no. See, you know you fucked up, right? I mean, Scott. No, I mean, no. Scott. no, no you know. See? Man. Once it's Scott, you know we was going down uh, <laughs> Selinski or Martin Luther King. Hey. It's all parallel, right? That seems so accurate. That's it. For real, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's somebody right now. You see, go for that shit. Right now. Damn, Macau. Nah, we'll, 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 allegedly, y'all. Nah, they ain't no good. Twelve. What, what you know? <laughs> what they know on that podcast? Too damn much. Kind of particular. Shit. <laughs> but nah, um, that's that's a powerful thing. So 
Question. So, since we're talking about the street stuff, so I kind of want to stay on that just for a few. Um, were y'all able to catch the Quando Rondo interview with Angela Yee? I thought it's stiff as of it. And no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just First say. First of all, his, his dialogue. Yeah, his. His flat TV, and that's all I'm going to say. Because I was like, no. You know, just. So, what happened? Because I'm, I'm out the loop right now. Sure. <laughs> well, basically, uh, it was it involves around uh, the, uh, the, King Von, the King Von yeah. situation. Basically, mm-hmm. King Von, you know, and Quando, they've had beef or yeah. whatnot. And you know how that played out when one of uh, mm-hmm. uh, Quando's uh, little homies. Uh, but Quando said he didn't even know about him. Little Tim. That, that's what his name yeah. is, Little Tim. Basically shot him, killed him. You know, to get uh, Vaughn off of Quando. And in this little little interview that he got with Angela Yee, he's basically saying he didn't know that they had beef, but it's like, eh, I don't know about that because you, know. <laughs> you you knew there was oh, some, yeah. some, like, you don't like this person. Like, this is mm-hmm. it's not even, like, a secret. It's publicly known. Mm-hmm. Y'all not rocking with each other. So you just say that, it's, it's kind of... Kind of backtracking and considering the fact he recently just did like a virtual concert. And at the beginning of the concert, he's basically, you know, pretty much talking like, damn, you should have to strap on him. Yeah. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. It's like, come on, now. wait a minute. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Don't match the energy you're saying. Yeah, exactly. it don't match the energy now you right. talking about because he said something like, dude, hit him so hard. He had an out of body experience. Yeah. He's really trying to play up the sympathy role. I'm like, yeah. damn, dog. He had you slump like that. He's like, wow. Now they say Vaughn could Vaughn should get out there with you though. That's yeah. What I'm so like actually, when I was listening to the, I guess I was listening to the side of like Vaughn when he was supposed to leave the club, mm-hmm. and then supposedly he heard that Quando was in the club, and that's why he ended up coming back. I guess or staying, mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, and yeah. that's why that situation even happened. It was basically his whole. His homeboys, or somebody, I can't even remember the story exactly. I just remember somebody saying his whole mood changed when he realized dude was in the club because he was in Demon Town, you know. Just yeah. At that time. Yeah. So he's like, all right, let me find this dude so I can box, so we can fight. And so when that happened, that's when Lil Tim, supposedly Lil Tim used to be Vaughn's friend. So, oh, wow, man. So it's, 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 a whole, it's a whole lot of history. In it. it's Damn. That, but, that's, but again, like you said early, yeah. if people just sit down, have a conversation. Sit down. If we, we can agree to disagree, yeah. or whatever the matter is, we can't come to a end point. At the end of the day, no more lies should have exactly. to bro. You know I, that, I think that whole situation could have been avoided. Yeah, oh, it, that, it that, that, like that was that like, wasn't even bro, something. Bro, because Vaughn was like, he was like the start of his prime, bro. He yeah, was, uh, his career. Was just dropped. First you know, album dropped. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He was on top, bro. Mm-hmm. And like, to go out like that. Yeah, like, I, and, I think that whole situation yeah. was completely avoided. I can bet it was just over some petty shit too. Like yeah, half, sure half the beefs yeah. be over some dumb yeah, shit. Exactly. Like all these beefs now. Yes. Yeah. I heard you said. Yeah. So and so said. And it escalates. And people will tell you now, like of course, looking back at the old beef, they'll tell you, man. Exactly. Me and dude wasn't even tripping. It was the mm-hmm. people around well, us. That was true. Yeah. And, so, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and of course, you know, feeding into the fans. Fans hype that up too. Oh, definitely. Fans hype up the beef and. The issues as well, it and beef, be toxic. and beef sales. And that's that's actually a, a marketing tactic. Beef sales, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, this was right around the time when Game was promoting his album, or when I, we can get into. I knew uh, where you was going. Yeah, <laughs> we can get into uh, with uh, you know what Game recently will talk about uh, on the next topic. But he was basically trying to promote his next what? album. Let me look back to you. But uh, he was basically trying to promote his uh, next album. And that's when he was talking about situations with other people. It was like rappers and their girls or whatnot. And he had said something about uh, Kim Kardashian or something. Like he was, and he was kind of like I get what he was doing, but I like I feel like the game he shouldn't had to. He didn't have to go that route to like stir up situations right. when it's like, bro, you're an already an established MC. People gonna rock with your music Definitely. regardless. So I, I just think that was like a publicity stunt in a sense. You know, like he did it with me too. He was like, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nikki was really feeling me on the video shoot when I was, you know, on set with her. See, like like it was just yeah, man, per, he, he was starting that, up that beef. He naturally tries to 
bring that type of publicity right before album every yes. single yeah. time. Yeah, and I'm, and that's and that's the thing where it's like you write this does not have because that goddamn nineteen ninety two project hard. Yeah, you don't you don't that's have to do that to you don't have to be in a beef because now like it's one of those type of situations like yeah you may be about it but someone could someone could get hurt or killed from that from something that really it ain't it don't even have to be that way so the whole him pop copping the plea now about oh well I didn't even know we had beef like that like I get it but like I said you can't backdoor and have a concert talking about rest and piss you should have the pole on you when it's like yeah you are the victim in the situation yeah you the victim but at the same time you can't just sit up there and be like I'm just I didn't know he wanted to fight me because you know if somebody has some real issues oh you, you know like that's that's gonna get to you you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like they're gonna let you know hey we have a real problem with you it's not gonna be it, it didn't make sense for King Ron to just be like I I have this beef this one side of beef with someone I, I see him I choose you I'm yeah, about to put his hands on yeah, nah. randomly you know what I'm saying so it was it you call cap on it it was it was cap bro. I'm yeah. all, all that to say man it's not worth it. Sit really down and talk. Bro. Life is long. It is about to go crazy. You know, when the music wants you off. Sit so, down. You know, talk. Even bro. even like the whole situation with Pop Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like that whole yeah. situation yeah. Was messed up too. Like to see how much his album. Like they've been. I've been hearing his music all year yeah. yep. since the album dropped. He's yep. like, been going and going and going. Mm-hmm. Listen, now we in Pretend Twenty One. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's still on the radio here. So real. Um, that was another career that was just cut short. And that wasn't even on no beef. That, like, that was just, some, some, some niggas is just trying to. He I just know he put was. too much on the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, but even still, like, at, at what point do you go that far to go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shoot rob up, someone. Who was it? There had to be something more. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you don't just rob. They don't just take the chain and uh, kick you. Nah, nah, I got end you. Yeah, yeah, so that's like saying, like, like, what did I do to you, man? Yeah, see, exactly. That's not even worth it, but you know, I. Mm. I don't hey, think man. Way about we, hey, just sit down and talk, bro. It's much. I know people's egos are very fragile. The male ego can sometimes be fragile in situations like that. You feel like you may watch it have to talk to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't about to do that. That make me look weak. No, it don't. Just have a conversation, bro. Agree to disagree. Put the guns down. Let's talk about it, bro. See if we can't solve it. We ain't gotta be friends. We ain't gotta be cool afterwards. But at least. We aired it out, our grievances, and we can agree to disagree and go our separate ways, make our own money, bro. Like, cool. That's fine. And keep it moving, man. Right. Keep it moving. It should so, always be that simple. Yeah, you know? it, it, it could be, but, you know, this is the world we live in. Thanks. Complications always supersede simplicity. So. Mm-hmm. Where did that come from? Like that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm like, tweet that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you gotta so. say it, then you gotta put Ross underneath it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, the chosen one. I'm gonna say the chosen one. Uh, <laughs> with Wiki. <laughs> with Wiki. <laughs> Damn. Ross with Wiki. Ross with Wiki. Speaking of the 50 Cent stuff, like I was talking about, I said 50 Cent. Uh, the no, game yeah, yeah, about another beef. Uh, that's another yeah, beef. Yeah, exactly. Uh, another. But uh, the game recently came out uh, basically talking about. You shouldn't, a man shouldn't go 50 50 with a woman, you know what I'm saying? Mm. She ain't going 50 50 with the sex and everything else. You're putting out a project? Uh, right. He may be. But maybe trying to get the, look, look on, happen, to get, the uh, get the women uh, to listen yeah, to Go to the upcoming now. But person. basically, he's like, I'm yo, like man, the men should, you know, always pay for everything. That's that's how it is. Women take care of home, men take care of, you know, everything else. And it's like, I get what you're saying, but here's the thing this comes. That conversation comes different from someone that's in a different tax bracket, right? Mm-hmm. Like everybody's situation is different. So when you're making seven, eight figures, of course to you, that's nothing. Oh, my girl, all right, she don't have to worry about nothing. Oh, that's fine. Right. See, see, I had this conversation yesterday actually with somebody because it was posted by I actually got posted twice. It was somebody else that said it, then I seen the games tweet mm-hmm. on it. And I was like, I get it, you know, because one of them said I'm from the old school. Old yeah, yeah, it's definitely an old school. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I get that, you know, because I believe in that technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, depending, like you said, depending on your circumstances, like you can't always do that. I mean, I personally would want to do that. Yeah. But, you know, again, depending on the circumstances or the relationship you're in, because I know how, how my wife is, she's she going to come at me like, 
no, you're not gonna pay for such such. Or she will personally like want yeah. to pay for certain things mm-hmm. just exactly. because that's just how she is. It takes two. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But that's like that's, that's that's just based on the dynamics of your relationship. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so that's why I think that tweet's kind of stupid because it's like you know, other people have they their 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 dynamics in their yeah. relationship. Yeah, you know, not everybody's gonna be like, yeah, uh, I'm gonna pay for this or that. Or not everybody's gonna allow it. In general, because yeah, that's, that's how true. I was when I first started. I was like, "Yeah, I got this. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna pay for this. This is yeah, yeah. She's like, "No, you shouldn't have to pay for blah 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 blah." That's real, you know. But it'd be like that. You you gonna have situations like that where it be like that. That's me, right? Exactly how mine was. But yeah, oh, man. that's how it is. Like, and so the fifty fifty yeah. is like. You know that I mean the one hundred percent is cool and all again yeah, like if cool. you're in a different yeah. tax bracket yeah. like if I'm a millionaire I'm still gonna stop her from paying fifty fifty yeah, I ain't yeah, no yeah. millionaire I'm gonna just be yeah. real so I was like shit you want fifty fifty I'm sure yeah. you know well, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and like uh, I, I think that's what yeah. people uh, were saying like yeah that sounds nice from a nigga in a certain tax bracket but right? when you working a nine to five you trying to make you know ends meet and it's it, you can't. You can't financially do that. Mm-hmm. He was also saying, you know, for those who can't do that, financially do that, go get that. Go get mm-hmm. it financially. Which is like... We trying, bud. Like, <laughs> like, you know we trying. <laughs> I don't got my blood, bro. Like, it's, it's like, you know, not <laughs> every, I didn't make <laughs> legendary songs and get really? royalty right. checks off those. Man, I ain't too. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I get his message behind yeah. it and I, and I think it's cool, but you also got to take in consideration that who you dealing with too because there's people out there that know you got the money got the status yeah. so they just you know what I'm saying automatically assume that you just gonna have to shell out the cash to be with them because you don't want to be in that situation where you giving out all this money and stuff and it's you getting that love and affection because of what you buying them what you but, doing but, the, but too we, we gotta this is where we put it into what what are we looking for because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. now you're talking about that's a marriage thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you dating somebody, yeah, of course you're going to pay for phones and stuff like that. But what am I doing this for? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I feel like a man is going to want to invest into somebody that he knows he's trying to build a future with. True. Um, Definitely. You don't want to just necessarily be splurging money out of True. Yeah, you know that's facts. It's just, it's just one of the things. Well, my wife, our first date, mm-hmm. she took her card out before me. Wow. It wasn't even on no... That's why you here, girl. That's exactly why you over there. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. it wasn't even, she just took it out. And I was like, like, it's just the gesture that she didn't expect. She didn't just get up. She didn't just look at the child. She, oh. It was a natural thing. It wasn't calculated. She just was like, oh, let me... And I was like, what you doing? And she was like, exactly. Oh, my yeah, like, what are you, you know, because I come from that, you know, my mom and dad, they old school. Yeah, same. You know, the man take care of the house, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. that's just what they grew up in. So that's, that's a lot of that is in me. Bro, she's stupid, bro. And, um, <laughs> so yeah, when she did that, I was like, oh yeah, no, nah, you good. You know, like, I'm like, what you doing? Like, I almost felt disrespectful. disrespectful. No, no, no. See, that's I, a little bit. I, I, know this. I got it. I ain't, what you doing? <laughs> I ain't. I ain't <laughs> drive all the way to Humble for nothing. I got like, Uber here. I know this, but I know Uber don't exist. Hell no, nah, was that 2011? Yeah, well, I look at, you look at him, you look at him confused. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> yep. what are you doing? But, at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, you're like, okay, points. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's major points, right? Major points. The show me, she didn't look at it like that. That's what she wasn't, yep. It yeah. wasn't a, 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 a part of the, the, the plan, the scheme. It wasn't a, a, a priority. It was just like, I'm, we're eating. Yeah. I'm enjoying the company. It doesn't matter who pay for it. It wasn't just a Cardi like, B line. It wasn't a Cardi Nigga, like, right now, <laughs> hey, look, right look now, I don't look at nothing that's 50-50. Yeah. I, I want to take care of the house. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking care of the house. Like, yeah. be yeah. Honest yeah, with you, yeah, be honest with you, our money goes into similar accounts. Yep. So, yeah. honestly, when we pay bills, we just paying shit with just that money in this bank. Oh, we got this bank, this bank, this bank, and this bank. Yeah. Hey, we want to pay this with this. Shut up, Brandon. Oh. We paying the mortgage with this. Right. Pay the cars with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's it's, so not, it's yeah. not, you know what I'm saying? That's just how our dynamic is. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, we both putting towards something and we building it. You know, we both created something for the family. Right. And it works on you. You know what I'm saying? It's and it's, 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 it's for it. each couple. And people feel like that's weird. People so, tell me that that's weird. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. So just imagine yourself being on a date. <clears throat> The date is going good. Everything, mm-hmm. 
Perfect. Right the vibe, everything is cool. It's just, mm-hmm. damn, it's I'm a dope ass day. Take me there. You hear me there. Take me there. Take me there. I was born the table. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Don't pay attention. Well, listen, the Don't minute the check hit the table. Okay. All right. Uh, the, 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 the energy just changed. What do you mean? By How would it change? By who? It can be anybody. It can be the man. Oh, that, that's an important question. Man. Yeah, yeah, by who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does saying. matter. But if, the, if you just feel the energy change from either or. How would it change from her? Just I mean, just, just listen. <laughs> we listen. <laughs> just, just listen. Just listen. Okay, okay. It could be it could be changed from him or her. Okay. Because sometimes the guy can be like, you know, he'll see the check and <laughs> now he'll see my face. Okay. But okay. he's like, God damn. You ain't have to order them lobsters. Like, I need right, to right. Yeah, 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 or, yeah. or the woman can be like, you know, but it's like all of a sudden, y'all. Forgot the vibe y'all had before the ticket came. So that should let you know the date should end. It shouldn't happen never again. You know no, what I mean? Y'all, like, I think like, y'all more compatible because both of y'all cheap. No, it, hey, no. Hey, look at that match. Hey, match made in heaven. Look at it. But it's, it's like it's like the first thing you just say. All right, so financial is gonna be a problem anytime we see money because y'all missed the important part of the the compass, the chemistry y'all had. And all of a sudden, yeah, I think no, you, no, it's not deep. Man, the you got me scared. See, so I think, not deep. It's I think, not deep. see, see, with this situation also, because like I've had a situation like this with my wife. <laughs> we was both like, she, you know. <laughs> so it's like, I, we can definitely do that on the first date. This is not the first date because I don't remember my first date. <laughs> to be honest with you, you know but it was in the early stages, you know and we both was like, she, well, uh, what you got? When she like, what I don't know what you got. And then we both trying to figure out how we about to pay for this shit. And so we came up on it. Okay. <laughs> right, that's I, I got you. For real. I got you. It, all, all, it. it all it all depends on the person at the end of the day. I feel you yeah, like you yeah, the vibe. Because you know, I knew her vibe and she knew mine. We both was like, yeah. shit, let's be cheap. Well, and we still end up spending more. I'm like, mm-hmm. when I'm spending time with my wife, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm now. I'm going into the restaurant knowing, all right, I already got the money. So oh, yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's now. It is what it is. Well, I'm going to be Because yeah. sometimes I don't like to see the tab. I'm, I'm just giving. Yeah, the that's me. Yeah. I'm here for the food. That's me now. I, I, I don't want my oh, black. I don't even want my black to come out. Like, you know. You too. In the, in the <laughs> Definitely you too. I'll, I'll look at that. Oh, I look at it I mean, I look at it too. Not all the they, time. They, they, and I'll make sure they ain't take gratuity already. So. <laughs> yeah, you got to try to check. You got to check. You got to check. You got to check. Man, what's what this COVID charge, man? All right. <laughs> the COVID charge. I have new shit. Like, nah, it's so new. From, from the COVID meeting. Exactly. Nah, the COVID you're, exactly. You're that should be the pissing COVID. me off. I seen that one time. Like, and it turns out that was actually like happening in certain areas. The COVID charge? I ain't seen that. It was a scene that said like COVID service or some shit. COVID service? I ain't seen that one. I see gratuity on mine, but I was like, I ain't this giving you no. I was like, no, 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 they didn't get me. They got my like my coworker and stuff. The COVID. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> what? That's up. It's weird. It's like, yeah, like, oh, well, yeah, we're COVID, but I'm helping. Like, no, no, like, bro, we had went to hey, Cheddar's. Because we're putting ourselves at risk to serving you, we're gonna charge you. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what that so, is. So we're closing shit. Like, <laughs> we bro, went to Cheddar's. Nobody told you off this long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like. <laughs> We, we went to Cheddar's and they had the COVID menu basically. So like they had the limited items. Yeah. And then the server was trash. And then, um, but we had a good amount of people. So that they had like gratuity on there or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, you don't deserve a tip because first of all, we didn't have a full menu and you was trash. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> and shit. Yeah. And so oh, me man. and my wife looked at each other and I think she had the same vibe. We didn't even, we didn't even say nothing. It was oh, like, no. a, I looked at the thing and she was like, <laughs> See, I'm yeah, like, no. I'm real big on service because I feel like same. Like, you know, that's how I am. I'm gonna treat somebody with the utmost exactly. same. Everything yeah. If I'm working somewhere, mm-hmm. so if I get in there, you you the best. You on you on point with it. Shout out to the homie Gas Tank man. You don't know this your name, but we used to go to bro. Oh my god, we gave the homie a name. Gas Yo, Tank. We used to go to Gas Tank. Let me bring that up real quick. So we used to go to Denny's Shit. after the club or whatever spot we went bro, to. Whatever. Six ten. So we there at two thirty three in the morning, and um, that was our spot. 
Yeah, yeah, that was our after hours spot because you were seeing all the shit coming yeah. in, all the weird shit. I Every seen, character you can think seen of. The old man. Is definitely that place. I've seen the yeah. old man fingering the lady next. It's uh, a damn shit. Did you lose your appetite? That sounds like, like some Waffle House. No, shit. bro. When I'm right telling you, Denny's off 16 right yeah, that's, now for something. Oh, that's, that one. Right by, yeah, um, horrible. Right by the club. Man, Carol's. I got to yep. get the little, the cheap ass, uh, what's the, what's the, the, uh, the Denny's. Combo. He got the, the eggs. Oh, Grand Slam? Yeah, Grand, yeah. Grand Slam. Grand Slam. I'll get my Grand Slams real quick. Shout out to Uncle Zay with the uh, moons over Hammy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that name always took me. Bro, okay, he's, question. He's, oh, wait. Were you still going on that? Yeah, so um, shout out. We had a server. Bro, when gotcha. I tell you this man, the black dude, he's one of the coolest servers I've ever had. Dude, really? was, okay. dude was see your cup from all the way across the way. That you needed to refill, he'll do. He hit that number that he had that six. Uh, as soon as you drunk it, he yep. already knew. Cup already there. I feel a homie down. <laughs> <laughs> he ran over there. Uh, I got you, man. Anything else you need, bro? Oh, yeah, he, I got you up. Like, bro, he he was so, bro, he was so humble and he, he was appreciative, bro. He just you could tell he took his job seriously. Exactly, man. He took him every time I got the chance. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so like, say this, this that, was Walmart money back then, like. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't no yeah, Walmart and the HB type. Like that is real, real. real. That brings me to the question. So, like, do y'all have a tipping method that y'all use? So, because let me explain. So, when we go into a restaurant, I always start at five dollars. That's yeah. just where I start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And depending on what you do, it can go up or it can go down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, if the wait is like taking too long. Down a dollar. Oh, yeah, definitely. If, if the waiter's doing some dumb like shit, down another dollar. No, no, we really do. And catch me, she, she'll turn and she'll be like, so where we at? Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, like, I had this one dude, it was a black dude. He was working his ass off at Chili's. I remember this dude because he was working his ass off. And he was so getting us refills, fast and shit. Bro, it's all about and then refills, man. he went to this table, like, two, two tables down. And it was this old white dude who was racist as shit. Like, he was giving this man hell, but he was still like, yeah, okay. And he was, like, doing shit for him, and he, he was fast with it, too. And he was nice and everything. While this dude was being rude and, like, rude as hell. So, this is like, the day I was just balling. Uh, I, I was feeling real good. Man. So And that was the second time I've had him as a server. So, I, um, the second time I had him as a server, I was like, oh. Uh, because that means. Exactly, bro. I'm like, yeah. that is, that's like, bro. The five that, cut. The hell no. Just yeah, say, I'm just saying, like, just, just say five, honey. <laughs> just do this. I don't know if you're this. Be saying, bro. Steve was in his own life. This. That's it. You we keeping what? that in, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say, you know what? I yeah, you. man. That's Anyways. <laughs> no. He trying to say cut, y'all. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, the engineer is trying to say cut. <laughs> Like, hell out. He didn't do it in a way we would get so it. So was it cut or we still go? Yeah, we still go. All right. So the second, <laughs> story, man. I want to hear this. Guy here, bro. <laughs> so the second time, this is my second time that basically happened. I seen he was having a rough ass night. And then like the, the old dude left and they ain't tip him nothing. And he like looked sad as shit. Bro, that's just, yeah. And so that pissed me off. So I was like, bet. And so we ended up uh, getting our, our check, and I, uh, I think our check was cheap. It was like 20 something. It was, yeah, we it was barely easy, spent man. anything. Mm-hmm. Like, we really didn't even come there really to That's a good check. do that much. We were just yeah. chilling and talking, really. It was just to come and talk. Mm-hmm. And um, after that, like, I, I just put, I just gave him 100. And, oh, he, that's right. that's what's and up, I walked bro. up and I, I gave it to him. He, he was like, oh, he freaked out. <laughs> day, he was like, oh my God. Like, oh my God. I was like, you good. Just take the dollars. So you walk up. I had to go hand it to him. Make sure nobody stole it. And that's real. Yeah. <laughs> that's real. Yeah. That's real. You know, the mother hating no, ass white is they look at us like, nah, for real. Yeah. What you do for that? But yeah, I was just wondering, y'all got like a, y'all got like a tip policy. Like I, do, I, I look at the gratuity mm-hmm. to see what the percentage is. And depending on how much the bill is, if they were phenomenal, I'll probably yeah. mm-hmm. it, you know, some more. Like, mm-hmm. They should be getting mad at me. I'll be starting off at 20s and 40s. Like, that, I, I just, that too. <laughs> uh, like you said, uh, too. Depending on I'm how boring. big the, the, the check is, I do mm-hmm. go off a of percentage yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So like, I'll start at like 15. He agrees. Look at that. I agree with Nisha. Look at that. If he tips Yeah, no, nah, I'll be tipping. Because yeah. I, I feel like real person, it's, it's one of them be above. There's nothing wrong with that, man. No. It's not a little tipping, man. He's the hard spot, no, too. Oh, bro. Yeah. It's like, well, tipping. Bro, story time? I mean, Shit, I'm tipping now, so life is good. Life is good. Where were you? It's 2000, what, 18. We in Austin. Coming from 6th Street. Damn. Ooh, I remember that day. Remember that? 
Mm-mm. Ross like, no, I have no, no uh, calculations. You remember when we went to 6th Street? Bless Chicken, right? I don't know. Chicken Spider, yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> you're also like, I have no recollection of any of this. I don't remember. You wasn't drunk. You, you I don't remember. remember. Bro, you got to explain some more things. That's the first time you heard Drake. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the spot, though. I don't yeah. remember the spot. I don't remember the spot. But you remember we went out there now. I don't remember, bro. He know. It was a blur. I have no recollection of this information. Bro, I didn't have a beard back then. Nah. 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 Well, I'll tell the story, you. yeah. Right, anywho, Ross, Ross, <laughs> out of all the restaurants you went to, you you it's like almost like Ross check came with the zero and a slash on the, the tip part. Because it's like before I could look at him, the part was already marked off. He was already handing the paper back. And I was like, Ross, how'd you let me see? And he had the little slash. See, those were different times. That's what I yeah, those were different times. But no, it's not just about that. It was about the slash. That's yeah, how, that's, how how they don't, that's how they Make don't. Make sure they don't edit that. Yeah, that's sure. how they don't edit that. When I tell you, buddy, did the quickest signature, I was like, oh, yo, we, we good. I was like, I was, you don't care how dope they were or nothing. Nothing. Mm. We good. We good on tips. That seemed like you're rolling the eyes, too. Yeah, that seemed like some bro. God damn. But you don't remember none of that at all. No. I don't. I really don't. I'm gonna just start naming random food restaurants and all the places you didn't take. Hey, that's now hard. you gotta go back to all these places now and, and pay for everybody. Do now. I really? You do. See these new people. <laughs> do I have to go new back? People in new people oh, in new yeah, places. I remember your little. Yeah, I remember your way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you the dancing one, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you the dancing one, right? <laughs> yeah, you got you. He got you there. You <laughs> with the cool little jacket, the barber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said a forty nine one. Oh yeah, with the damn VOD hat. Oh, yeah, with the damn VOD hat. oh, oh you a runner, runner. runner? You a track star, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, all in all, man, I, I love to you know give to people that you know deserve it. Mm-hmm. You know, Same. Um, you know, Working in the food industry for seven years, hell. bro. Oh yeah, that changed your life. That mm-hmm. make you look at people a lot different. Mm-hmm. I worked food industry for a long time, so if I see a person that's working, I'm a I'm a tip. That's mm-hmm. just what yeah, it is. That's real. So <laughs> I want to end it before we get off and, and end it all together. Um, definitely wanted to end it on a lighter note, but we can't stop this podcast without talking about the the murder of Dante uh, Wright. Mm-hmm. Um, by the police officer um, uh, it's getting to a point now man where you're looking at this stuff and you it's, it's so normal to where people are getting we're passing on now I don't even know what stage we are really? on this stuff but now our, it, always you know we, we've been played as stupid you know the first report I heard from the chief was <clears throat> she accidentally, and I was just, mm. you know, I was, that was real heavy on the accident. I yeah. haven't even watched the video because I just, I'm tired of them. I just, yeah. I can't get it. Yeah, when I watched it, I didn't even know, because I don't watch them. I haven't even watched the um, the George Floyd um, yeah. video. I couldn't. Yeah. Um, but when I seen it, I didn't know that was actually going on. You can't really hear the bullet. You just see that something happened, and she said, oh, Shot him, you know, and you know, he drives off. But I mean, to, to say you confused a taser for an actual loaded yeah. pistol, that's very confusing because I'm gonna say this just like me and my wife talk about some jobs you can't make a mistake in. You can't, no, you exactly. know, it's, it's, it's some jobs if a pilot say oops, that's we it. all exactly. yeah, if, 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 yeah, a, if a surgical doctor say oops. Yeah, that person may be. You know, it's, it's some jobs you can't. It's no, it's mm-hmm. no oops. Nah, that's you true. know, and you held accountable for that. If you know something goes wrong, whether it's your, by your life or you know another person. So, in this situation, they got to get it right. No, nah, for real. You and know, yeah. I um, I heard she was supposedly in the force for a while too. Yeah, like yeah. So I'm like, 20 years. She yeah. was trained how somebody else. How do you experience? You're supposed to. Like, how do you say 26? 26. 26. Hey, she was training somebody else. Exactly. Like, accidentally mistake a gun for a taser with 26 years of experience. That makes no sense, man. Zero. Mind you, the same state that George Floyd was killed in. Mm-hmm. Like Charles going 10 on miles. Right now. Yeah. That's that's 10 miles from the place where it happened. So, uh, I, but she is, uh, she is, uh, she was, uh, actually, she was arrested. 
and she's uh, second degree. Yeah, second degree and without bond. No, nope, so. no, nope, she, she's out. Oh, she out. One hundred thousand dollars. They're protecting their house. They uh, hundred thousand dollar bond. They originally yeah. reported no bond. Yeah. Then back door and say hundred thousand bond. So they, they so she's out on hundred thousand bond. One hundred. Who so who did it? Who paid the hundred? Probably someone oh, from the yeah. uh, because you know they have that uh, yeah. what's that that you thing that pension uh oh, like that's, that's the no no no. no. She tried to resign to get the pen, uh, pension, but the city, the mayor denied it. Oh, mm-hmm. yep. It's, it's, it's real, but that's the thing. Mm. We, we get played as stupid, you yeah. know? I think that's why I get so mad at our people, mm-hmm. because we already a target. You know, it comes when all when back comes to the city now. When it comes to these yeah. situations, we already losing our lives. We already mm-hmm. getting killed in these streets. Why are we adding it more to ourselves? Mm-hmm. And in mm-hmm. times like these, mm-hmm. we need to come yeah. together. And to, to, it's all in the same conversation, but just the whole Derek uh, Chauvin uh, yeah. trial. Like, we need judges. Mm-hmm. You can look at the damn thing and see, you know, they tried to blame the, blame the carbon monoxide coming from the car as a, uh, something that may have uh, yeah, yeah, caused it. Coming up with the most. Like, but that's not the reasons. Yeah. So, but no, um, it was a few months back, especially when the George Floyd situation happened. Um, one guy was saying, like, bro, the best way is for black people, man, is pretty much take more control of the shit's going on locally, especially with the cops and whatnot. Like, bro, mm-hmm. you got the younger kids. Try to get in, be a cop, man. Like, try to low-key, man, patrol your, your area, man. Or, like, you know, we talk about how Trump was and stuff. Yes, Trump was, you know, we, he was a... But you also got a lot of issues. You got a lot of people locally, man, that's pretty much really mm-hmm. controlling you, man. Mm-hmm. Controlling, you know, these areas that pretty much they're allowing these renegade, trigger happy, you know, cops and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, letting them slide, you know, letting them pretty much control, you know, the hoods and whatnot. So, yeah, it all starts so, locally too. It really does, yeah. Yeah, so, and we got to be able to, I mean, yeah, gotta I hold each other accountable. I, for some odd reason, I just never understood that, like, you got, and I'm not, I'm not trying to put race in it, but, you know, you see these white cops. In the you know in the hood patrolling you know look like they they don't know nothing about black folks they ain't never been around black folks before you know mm-hmm. they just immediately just get in fear when they see us mm-hmm. and the fact that you have people that you know have an excuse for that like well I mean y'all do look like y'all I mean no nah, bullshit that has, that has there's no reason to all of a sudden man first thing you know pull out a gun or whatnot and that's funny because we talked about that like we talked about having survival instincts versus yeah. racism. And it's a thin line between survival mm-hmm. yeah, we and, did. and mm-hmm. racism. <clears throat> and I, I look at certain niggas like sketchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah everybody is. Yeah. But I don't do anything to anybody until you give me a reason to. That's Back. true. No, if you're walking around the street with a hoodie on and mm-hmm. it's two in the morning, yeah, I'm like, eh, oh, yeah, apprehensive. But I ain't going to do nothing. I'm Back. just, I might go hit you, but I ain't going to call now. One, you ain't came in my house. You did nothing to me. Mm-hmm. I have no reason to do anything or take any action until you give me a reason to. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Really? You know, that's just like the whole Zimmerman situation. Um, you know, you go and follow Trayvon. You did that. Mm-hmm. He wasn't bothered. You don't know what he did. He didn't steal nothing from you. That's, you know, you watch. Okay, you okay, was watching. Happening. You right. do call 911. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. You call 911. Whatever. They tell you. Okay, you don't have to follow the subject. You know, let him, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like it's something that we need to check out, okay, we'll send somebody out there. Stop, yep. stop. You know, you don't have to keep following. Don't proceed. Yeah. He goes and do the opposite. No, nah, I'm a, yeah, you approach somebody and they, you don't know what Trayvon feeling about you. Exactly, yeah. You, yeah, a, random like dude, yeah. Yeah. you mm-hmm. a random dude coming up to me talking about some neighborhood watch stuff and I'm yeah. supposed to subdue to you just because... You I don't that. know you. I know you not fake. Exactly. exactly. And yeah. then because I fight you off, I lose my life. And it's like, oh, he's going to walk free. Because yeah. if he... Come on, bro. It, it, it's, it's like, like the come on, the recent situation that actually could have ended up the same way with that kid that was walking on the sidewalk. And yeah. the military dude was just pushing him. I'm like, yeah, he's standing oh, yeah. there talking to you now yeah. because you keep talking to him. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you bothering this man while he's just walking around the neighborhood that he's been living in longer than you. Like, that shit is crazy, crazy, man. And we watch this shit, bro, and it, 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 it burns you up. But it the does. thing is, how long does it burn you up for? 
True. That's what I want to ask my people. Because <coughs> the, the one of the biggest things to date to me personally that we held it down for was the George Floyd situation. Because that was just like everything else, that was so blatant though. Yeah. You know, and from what I heard from other people watching it, him screaming out to his mom and stuff like that. I, it touched me without even watching the video. That's why mm-hmm. I could never muster up the guts to watch it. But, you know, we held it down for a minute. People started to buy black. People started to, you know, we, we made these corporations mm-hmm. crumble to the point to where every time we went on the game, Apple, everything was, oh, black this. Yeah, support black, black this. And I'm like, bro, it was wonderful. Thing, it, it was, was everywhere. But then next thing you know, they off. It's okay. We can just show yeah. a few months. Everything's going to get back to normal. And, you know, and yep. sure enough, we back into the Gucci line, Gucci stimulus check. That's a and whole nother yeah, podcast. Right that's that. going to be on the next podcast. That's, Tune in for that. Man. But we, we back to we back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Back again. And then now, it's, okay, let's see what happens again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now we in this situation, hoping that this cop gets, um, and, you know, arrested and stuff. And now we're looking at the trial, um, and we're looking at the, 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 the people that have, like, sympathy yeah. for this dude, um, for, you know, kneeling on George Floyd for that long. You know, it's like if he don't get, if he don't get found guilty, that's you're asking for the danger. Mm-hmm. But and I was just telling Ross because we about to go ahead and head out of here. But notice how they don't talk about the capital no more. Yeah, it just and that was like came a and big, went. Like that is like the most historical. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That needs to go in textbooks. Yeah, but that was just. A few months ago. Exactly. They just had the memorial for one of the guys that died in the Capitol. And that was like the most information Mm -hmm. since. And that was it. It it kind of came in man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that is it's one of the things where people are conspiracy theorists. And there's people that feel all this and all that. Watch this. Watch the cute trends. You know what? They doing what they want to do to you in your face. Mm -hmm. The The truth is right there. I'm a firm believer that the truth is in your face. The conspiracies are the things that are distracting us. Oh, mm-hmm. no, so you see the dollar get behind it. Yeah. No, I mean, they, they showing you. <laughs> no, I remember no, for real. No, they do. And yeah. I, I fell a victim to it. But I'm I'm grown now. And I'm looking like, bro, they doing what the fuck they right? They doing it right here. Yep. Right <laughs> they ain't putting no makeup on it or nothing. They showing you. Yep. You know, but it's always about what we're going to do about it. But, you know, just, just we got to end it with that heartfelt situation. Yeah. You know, rest in peace, Dante White. Yeah, um, it, it, it's so many stories, bro. It's, yeah. it, you know, I can't, I hate that we have to keep coming up. Yep. Right. Facts. But, uh, yeah, episode 42, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? The Jackie uh, Robinson episode. Yeah, man, right? <laughs> More of the story, man. Sit At the end down. of the day, just yep. sit down. Mm-hmm. Let's talk it out. Let's, let's try to fix these situations that we have yes. on going with each other. Doesn't matter race, it can be whoever you're having a situation with. Just try to have a sit down with them, talk it out if you can, and then go from there, man. So and damn it, Doug. Damn it, Doug. Right. Yep, I'm, I'm with that. I thought I was gonna hear that more, but you know. <laughs> oh, before we end, Ross is rich. Facts. Rich and famous, to be his, exact. His shoes, you can tear off stuff and then still make another yeah. shoe. Yeah. So I just want I'm a shoe head. I ain't never seen those before. Back okay. <laughs> he knows what they are. He just said. I, mean, I know that was a Nike shirt until he pointed it out. They made it customized. Rich and famous. Hey. Ross. The chosen. Hey, I'm on a Nike. Nike. You know, Ross. Every day. With, with you. <laughs> the <laughs> chosen. <laughs> the chosen. <laughs> the idiots of the witches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs>